This is how to install Mac OS X version 10.5 Leopard on a PowerBook G4. I have the PowerBook G4 Titanium 667 MHz. This should work on any any PowerPC G4 Mac that's less than 867 MHz. Um, uh, this so those of you sh and this also works on computers that didn't work with Leopard Assist, like this one would not work with Leopard Assist. Um, and so those of you who have tried just using the normal install, you probably got this message. Mac OS X cannot be installed on this computer. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So, first I'm just going to turn off the computer. Okay. Now, turn on the computer again, and I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this. So, just press, um, once you hear the startup chime, just press control, I mean command option O and F on the keyboard until you see the screen turn on. So I'm going to do that right now. Just putting the camera down. So I'm pressing the buttons right now. So you should be doing that too. And you're hearing the leopard disc, is, which is in the drive. It doesn't matter if it's in the drive yet or not. Just FYI. Okay, so the computer's on, and you should see this screen with just a bunch of words and black, white screen. So, at this prompt, you want to type dev space slash cpus slash capital power p capital p capital c comma capital G or at symbol and then zero press enter and after every line you should see OK if you typed it right now type D pound eight six eight six seven and then six zeros now type press type space e n c o d e dash n t space colon I mean space um quotes space clock dash frequency quotes space property so it should look like this d pound eight six seven zero 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 six zeros encode dash int space quote space clock frequency quote space property and press enter oh there's a space between the pounds sorry about that so let me just put the camera down and I'll type all of the lines and then show you what it is after I'm done typing okay so I finished typing all the lines so basically this is what you should have you should have the same thing for every line except for the last second to last word so basically it's d pound space eight six seven six zeros encode dash int space quote space um clock frequency quote space property press enter and the other two is the exact same thing except the second one is min dash clock dash frequency property and max dash clock dash frequency and you should see OK after each line now at the last one just type multi dash b o o t multi boot press enter or return 
Now it'll start loading the drives you have. So, there's the leopard disk. Mac OS X install DVD, you can't really see that. So basically just wait till this watch icon, or this watch cursor turns to a pointer. Okay, so you just click on the DVD and click this arrow right here. Now it will boot off the, D the Mac OS X Leopard DVD. And I'll be right back when it's done booting. Okay, I'm now successfully in the Mac OS X installer. So now what you want to do is go up to Utilities and do Disk Utility. Now if you, this will not work with an upgrade from Tiger. So you need to do this to format your hard drive. So just click on your hard drive. Not the partition, the hard drive. Click on Partition. Click one partition. Name it whatever you want. Click options down here. Make sure this is on Apple Partition Mac. I mean Apple Partition Map. And click apply. I don't want to do that now because I already have a perfectly good leopard installation. Okay, so once you've done that, just proceed with the Leopard installer as normal. Select your disk. You can then click continue, which I can't do because I already have an installation. Um, then click customize and select any option you want and click install. And when you reboot, you should have Mac OS X Leopard successfully installed. So I'll be right back after I reboot. Okay, so now I'm at the Leopard desktop. And here's the About This Mac window. I've upgraded this to version 10.5.8. Now, if you want to do this, it does not work off software update. Just go to Apple's website and download the, download the, the package file from there. Because it just free, the installation freezes if you try and use it from software update. And there you have it. A perfectly good perfectly functional um, PowerBook G4 or any other G4 computer that's less than 867 megahertz with Leopard and that's it hope this worked for you